you're probably watching this video because your furnace is acting up. So we made this little video to help troubleshoot um, what's going on with the furnace. Um, two things are your most common failure on the on the furnace. Um, one of them being the sail switch is acting up. The other one being that maybe you've got a bad circuit board. Um, we've actually changed the furnace that we put in the trailers because of this, so we made it easier access to get at it. So we're just going to show you how to change those things or service them. Um, so we've got on the bench here the two culprits. This is what the sail switch looks like. So we'll show you to get that out. And then here's the circuit board. So um, you can call Dometic directly if you have issues that these need to be replaced and they will send you those directly under warranty. Um, so here's how you get access to the back of the furnace. It's just these four screws need to come out. So I'll pull those out real quick. Okay, so screws are out. Now all we have to do is just basically pull this cover right off, leave the uh, exhaust port on there, set that aside. So we're gonna look at the sail switch first. So it's probably the most common failing part on here. And one of the reasons is, is that sail little switch mechanism is right in the fan, which, which draws your inside air. Um, it recirculates inside air. So it can pick up the dust in the air. Um, and it actually, we've seen quite often when you take these out, you'll see a little lint uh, string coming off the end of that little white um, switch here. Um, if you've got a pair of tweezers, sometimes we've seen where we'll pull out and there'll be about a half inch of lint string that comes out of there and then it's working fine again. Um, if that's the case, just clean it, put it back in and you're probably good to go, but you might pull it out and some will break off inside there. It might work, but it might be a temporary fix. And in that case, you'll need to order a new one of these. Um, so I'll show you how to get to that. So that is this guy right here. So before I'm doing anything, I've shut off the electrical unplug the trailer so there's zero power in the trailer so just pull this one screw out now little wiggle jiggle to get it out just gonna pull the wires off first just remember the double wires are out front So just being gentle with it. There we go. Okay, so there it is. So to change this out now, you can see we have to remove the, the housing off. So essentially undo these two screws and then mount it back on the housing, put it back in. Okay, so we'll put that back in. Again, sometimes it gets a little bit of lint on it, and other times it's just faulty and needs to be changed, so. So not forcing at all, it just, just nicely sliding in there. Okay, so we'll just hook the wires back up. Okay, so we're good to go there. Just to, just to back up a second, a good indicator that it's your sail switch that's the problem is you turn the furnace on, the fan comes on, 
it runs for exactly 30 seconds and then it shuts off. There's no ignition at all. Um, basically that, that sail switch is if you don't have enough battery power to turn your fan fast enough, um, it won't allow the furnace to move on to the next step of actually igni igniting. So if it's not happy with the sail switch, you won't get an ignition at all. So 30 seconds, it runs and the fan shuts off. Nine times out of 10, it's a sail switch issue. Um, if your fan comes on, um, we timed it, it runs for a minute and 20 seconds. That's how long it takes, assuming your gas is turned off, that's how long it would take for the fan to come on, run through three attempts of ignition, um, and then if it still doesn't ignite, then the fan shuts off. Um, that's a minute and 20 second uh, timeline. So if it doesn't light after a minute and 20, um, it's not a sail switch issue, I would point towards the circuit board or propane is off, uh, something like that. So um, lots of times you can't quite hear the igniter clicking from the inside, so if you were to come outside, um, have a listen near the exhaust, you should clearly hear the igniter clicking away. And if the fuel is on, um, lots of times we hear customers say they can smell raw propane coming out at the same time. It's just not igniting or firing. Um, again, then we want to point typically back to a circuit board. Um, so we'll quickly show you um, to change the circuit board. Again, it is nice and easy. They've, with this exterior access, um, everything is right at your fingertips here. Um, just two screws on the bottom here to pull this off. Again, there is no power at all on in the trailer. It's unplugged and the battery disconnect is switched off. So it just comes out. Um, again, these, uh, these two plugs are different size. Um, they're on there tight. So you can't mix them up. They're both kind of red color, but you can't mix them up. Okay, so just to do a little close up on there, you can see the two blades are different sizes, so you can't mix those up. Um, it is pretty straightforward. Um, lots of times, um, Dometic will send you a circuit board. We can send you a circuit board. It's a nice, easy change, um, and you're more than likely back in business. Let's put that back together. There's a couple of tabs up on the top that these two holes drop over top of. So it hooks it there. There we go. Everything's back together. Um, not really a whole lot else to do on these. Um, put that door back on and we're good to go.